Uh, so I got a, an email here from Sonia Wood, buyer of the book. Great to hear from you. Thanks for your kind words. I got your book on Friday. Love it. And I love how you swear in there. My business partner is constantly making it, uh, taking me things off our Facebook page because sometimes her clients get offended. I'm so sick of that, exclamation point. Hell, if they don't like it, they don't have to look at it, right? I get this question all the time because I do swear in my marketing. I do swear in my normal conversation, in my emails, in my newsletters. For me, though, it's just part of who I am. And I think when people ask that question, they're really trying to get permission to just be who they are. And so Wanda Sykes, who's a comedian, she had a great skit called, I'm going to be me. I'm going to be me. Okay, However that's pronounced, I'm going to be me. And I've always found my biggest breakthroughs came in business, in my personal life, when I stopped trying to be what everybody else wanted to be me, and I just started to being who I am. And so for me, I grew up in a construction family. Uh, Four-letter words are just part of my vernacular. Somebody says one, and it's almost like a comforting effect. Oh, that's my type of people. That's my kind of person. And so the question, or the answer rather, is I think it depends. Who are you in your authentic state? Okay, if you grew up, you went to Harvard, you come from uh, you know, the royal family, and it's not part of your vernacular to use those words, then using them, it's a big mistake. Because it telegraphs to everybody that you're trying to be somebody you're not, or maybe you're playing a role. Maybe you're catering to an audience. Just be who you are. If that's the word you use, use it. If it's not, then don't. But I'd love to get your feedback on this too. What is your experience? 